This is the Mosaic of Art. I'm George Fishman. Today's guest, Dr. Adrian von Leitz, Director of Education at the Bass Museum of Art, uses the museum's collection of art from former centuries to help introduce current audiences to the art of the present, and also invites contemporary artists to utilize the collection as a resource for the creation of new artwork. First, she touched on her professional background prior to coming to the Bass. I took a break from art history uh, to run a business in South America, and also I was getting bored with teaching survey classes over and over again. And I decided once I wanted to return to art history, I wanted to do it with the public in different ways, and I wanted to get more engaged with objects. And it's very different if you're standing in front of the real thing. Uh, it's a much more alive and spontaneous experience. And also, uh, you realize that people have the right to form their own opinions. And what I try to do is facilitate that uh, ability to relax, not be intimidated by the space or the institution, and to find their own ways, because looking at art is really an act of self-discovery more than anything. The Bass Museum has, at its core, the collection of one family. Well, it was amassed by John and Johanna Bass, who... Uh, in the 1960s decided to leave their entire collection of about 500 works of art, which has now grown to 5,000, to the city of Miami Beach. And they tended to collect uh, Renaissance and Baroque art. And uh, so the city took it on, and we moved into this Art Deco former library. And then in uh, 2001, uh, we started to add this whole new wing done by a very famous Japanese architect, uh, Isosaki with a dramatic walkway and uh, a huge second floor gallery which allowed us to be more experimental. We've had uh, a director here, Sylvia Carmen Cubinia, for almost two years whose background is in contemporary art. So her concept for this museum is something called the Endless Renaissance, where we will combine the contemporary and the art of the past so that contemporary artists are always looking to the past. And in some ways, past art can actually predict the way we look at the world today. Because there are themes, there are archetypes, there are shapes, there are approaches to looking that, that sort of continue throughout time. Adrian's description about the way that she and the director are using this historical collection was a good entry point. Well, this was commissioned by the director, Sylvia Carmen Cobinia. Ellen Harvey started out as a lawyer at Yale and decided that she really wanted to indulge in her passion for painting. She can paint in the old master style. Well, that doesn't seem to be like a very contemporary thing, but she was also involved with interacting with public spaces and people. So she's done a series of interventions where she's gone into small museum spaces and sort of done variations on things that she sees there to sort of rethink and re-examine the things in the collection in a very playful and witty way. And she remembers that when she was 10 years old going to her, her museum with her parents, she was fascinated by all the nudity. I mean, she just fixated on all the flesh. And of course, she knew she was being naughty. So one of her naughty fantasies is to just focus on nude objects, nude figures uh, in museum collections. So what we did, we worked with um, the very limited photography we have of our uh, catalog of works, uh, uh, mostly black and white photographs or, or JPEGs that were low resolution. And what she did is she reflected the fact that she was not studying them directly but through reproductions. So she started working in grisaille or grayscale and then only highlighted the fleshy parts that she loved. And then it's displayed on the wall in the hall here with little, what looks like wallpaper with little circles cut out from magazines. Uh, there are toes, there, there's belly buttons, there's navels, there's little folds of skin. And they're sort of randomly placed behind the picture frames to sort of make this reference to flesh. Then she got a lot of uh, dollar store or antique shop picture frames. And she painted on top of them and let the paint drip from them and creating a kind of haunted uh, uh, display uh, of little objects coming to life. So the more you look at this, the more you realize that, yeah, it's, it's, it's both less and more than the, the thing that she's copying. Uh, she spent about a week here uh, installing all these little bits, figuring all of this out, the positioning, the, and deciding at the last minute she wanted the paint hmm. to drip from the wall. And again, it's pretty clear that these are not, you know, straight copies. And of course, we're not going to keep this. This is all going to go back to the artist. 
it's more almost like a performance. It's performing here for a month and letting people sort of riff off of them and see what they want in them. I asked about the consistency of the artist's style and technique. She's keeping true to the general style from, you know, the tight style of the high renaissance to expressionistic, modernist works, to works that are sort of on the verge of abstraction. But after that, there's a little bit of intervention here and there. And then there's some hilarious bits. It's an example of the mission of the museum right now, which is to have living artists re-examine and intervene with our collection. So we are looking for artists who are willing to engage with history and see it in new ways and hopefully inspire our visitors to see how an artist interprets the emotional relationship or the, or the color value or tries to see it in human terms. We just recently moved from one storage space to the next. Also, we're having the entire collection reassessed by appraisers, so that'll also encourage us to properly photograph and document these things. It's a tremendous undertaking to take things out of storage and have them properly professionally photographed. Eventually, we'll have an online database. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Come back and see it. Continuing this theme of artist interventions, for her upcoming exhibition at the Bass Museum, the Peruvian-born artist Sandra Gamara has made new paintings based on photographs that she has taken of visitors looking at works of art in the museum's galleries. This is George Fishman for the Mosaic of Art.